Hey! You know, I had absolutely no plans in making this video because this is breaking within the past less than 24 hours. Kind of shocking. When I got a bunch of emails, shoop, all at once, so there's no way this could be true. But there's a lot of emails here, and it turns out it is true. And I personally don't like this guy. I've actually never heard anybody that's so in love with their voice before. Eh, that's okay. He actually says a lot of uh, highly intelligent stuff, so I respect uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson. I didn't know he was Canadian, actually. I've only ever seen a couple videos from him. This is hardcore satanic. I, I gotta ask Canadians, and I read every comment, and everybody else, too, what you think about this, because this is about as evil as it gets. Actually, the only thing that's evil, more evil than this, I can't say it, because even saying the words, you know, would make people cringe or want to throw up. So this is the next level Beneath that, I'm going to read you the, the message from Jordan Peterson. About a dozen, I mean, no, let me start with the first one here. Yeah, the Ontario uh, College of Psychologists, CPO Ontario, has demanded that I, meaning Jordan Peterson, submit myself to mandatory social media communication retraining. You know, having lived in communist Russia, I don't know if you've ever heard of re-education camps. It's about as hardcore satanic commie that you could get. Let me repeat that. Hardcore satanic commie. Social media communication retraining with their experts and among other crimes. Retweeting. I had to look up who this guy was. Pierre Polivier. Polivier? I probably mispronounced. He's a, a candidate uh, for the head of Canada. You know, to replace uh, Justina Castro. You know, the guy that's running Canada up there, Justina Castro. I think that's his name, right? I had to look him up, Pierre. So he's been retweeting uh, Pierre uh, Polivier. I'm mispronouncing his name, so sorry. And criticizing uh, Justina Castro and his political allies. Um, Elon Musk found this uh, this uh, declaration by Peterson really shocking. And he, he uh, replied to that. Elon Musk did. Whatever you think about him doesn't really matter. I am to, this is his other message after that one, I am to take a course of such training with reports documenting my progress or face an in-person tribunal and suspension of my rights to operate as a licensed clinical psychologist. By the way, I have no respect for psychologists by and large. It's not a real medical profession. You know, it's a bunch of quackery. But actually, of the couple of videos that I've seen of Peterson are, you know, intelligent, forthright, and logical, even though my I myself you know, uh, don't like the guy, but that's not what's important. What's important is what is being done to him. Here he, he goes on. Uh, about, about a dozen people from all over the world submitted complaints about my public statements on Twitter and Rogan uh, over a four-year period out of about a hundred, out of uh, 15 million who follow me on social media claiming that I had harmed people with my views. So... <clears throat> There's an old saying that when you stick your neck out, what do they call that? Tall poppy syndrome in Australia? In other words, if you stick your, your neck out, you know, someone's going to chop it off. Obviously, this guy has been talking about the totalitarianism, the evil, and the communism that's going on up in uh, Kanukistan, as we kindly call it. He's talking about re-education camps. Hey, Canada. If I told you... Three years ago, that some guy that comments against totalitarianism and evil would... Uh... Now, this is not the Ontario College of Psychologists that's doing this to him. To be sure, without any shadow of a doubt, this is the Canadian government that's doing this. I mean, does anybody... If you have four brain cells, you know this is the case. Demand that I submit myself to mandatory social media communication... Re that that's a re-education camp. Yeah, they, they used to have those uh, back in when communism was as, as its highest. They still actually have those in certain places. They have them in other countries that I'm not going to mention. Yeah, re-education camps. That's where you know, they harm you and they you know you need to group think. In other words, if you're not... That's just... I'm sorry, folks. But Canada... I didn't believe this until I started getting a bunch of emails, like, all at once, a bunch of Canadians email me this. It, that's just hardcore satanic evil. This, what they're doing to this guy. And I have no love for this guy at all. I don't, I don't have any, uh, 
love of uh, the psychological profession at all. I mean, it is a true pseudoscience, but he is an intelligent person that actually points out the logical errors of the evils and the group think. And, uh, you know, I would agree with basically 95% of what I've heard the guys say. So even though I have no love for him, I mean, this is just pure satanic evil. What, what do Canadians think about this, that they're going to send this guy that's sticking his neck out to point out the evils going on in Canada? They're going to send him to a hardcore, demonic, communist retraining camp. Oh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna do things. You Maybe they're going to lock up his bank accounts like they did to those truckers. Yeah, I remember when the truckers, you know, low-income, hard-working folks had their bank accounts seized and uh, their GoFundMe page destroyed. Yeah, so what do you think about this, folks? This is actually really important. You know, I have no love for this guy, and I'm pointing out to you how horrifically evil this is, what they're doing to this guy. That's just hardcore evil. It's just hardcore demonic evil. I'd like to hear from you. I read every comment. The last video, by the way, I have to point out, you know, it's not monetized, that last video, about the warning video. The title of it is Warning not monetized. I don't make a penny off of it. I have never seen such a incredible response like, boom! I've never seen of the 7,500 plus videos that I've posted where there's so many people that were like saying something really pithy and honest and there'd be like 60 upvotes. In other words, everybody else is reading everybody's comments. That's very helpful for everybody. I enjoy reading them and it's good to see that other people enjoy reading them and you know you're giving support to each other and i've had a lot of people comment on that last video to the effect that you know i'm so glad i mean i and i know i wasn't crazy i'm seeing what's actually going on in the world but you know i'm glad that you made a video pointing out reconfirming what i absolutely damn well know is going on in the world makes me feel better you know i feel more content i knew i wasn't crazy it's kind of like that movie, uh, They Live. Remember the guy could actually see the aliens, but nobody else could. He's like, he knows he can see them. He knows he's not crazy. He's not drunk. And then he gets his African-American companion to put on the special glasses. Everybody needs to see the movie, They Live. It's really kind of funny, actually. And then he could see them. It's like, oh, my goodness. You can see them too, right? <laughs> so tell me what you think about this. What they're doing to this guy is hardcore commie evil. It's disgusting.